All right, so here today we do in fact have the tier list now here uh, for Amelia. This is going to be her ranking. We're going to see how she placed and where they put her on the uh, thing. Remember this character, whatever she is, she's good DPS. It's good DPS. It's just not, again, breaking the meta DPS. She will fit on solo raid teams, as I mentioned, uh, but you don't need her for like clearing campaign stuff uh, as there are a lot of better uh, meta DPSs. So remember, I will say probably either... So I heard PvP, she's like triple S apparently. So in PvP, I'm guessing triple S. And then when it comes to other content, I'll say S. Um, and then maybe if they want to do bosses, they just double S, right? That's, that's my thought process, so... Today, let's hop into it and uh yeah like and subscribe helps out a ton so we have the rankings over here we'll check i think that they didn't update anything else we'll check the change log um added amelia to the tier list uh this is all today right yeah updated the story height deficit uh ratings of several characters so a2 dropped from ss to s amelia has powercraft a2 when it comes to her role Haran dropped from s to a helm dropped from s to a and volume jumped up to s Okay, so A2 drop because Amelia came out. Hmm, okay, yeah. Uh, whatever A2 is, I don't know. I haven't maybe built my Amelia up the best, but my A2 smacks, bro. <laughs> so, we'll have to see, but it looks like if she dropped her, yep, that means she ended up in uh, ended up in SS. This is high deficit, so. That is their ranking. They're putting her in SS um, for that. Did they, change, did they change the site, bro? Yo, this looks so weird. Is it, is it always looking like this? <laughs> I swear, Prime looks different, bro. Hey, yo, I'm gonna open up the uh, the J uh, JP one also, so we'll see how that one actually cooked up. But yeah, they said SS over here for story high deficit. Again, whatever it is, this character, she is pretty good. Um, like A2 mainly wants a healer, so maybe people are like, oh, you know, this, this, this. But I don't know, her damage is still pretty good. In high deficit, maybe, you know, she falls off, but for additional target bosses and stuff, because of parts and everything, I think that she still picks up more damage. But Amelia is still pretty good. So again, boss, you can kind of see it's also, it looks like S tier here, which makes sense. I think that she needs and requires um, either parts or multiple enemies in order to make her kit work. Um, so she's definitely not going to work there. But yeah, this is kind of as expected, correct? She's not going to be like a DPS carrier of the century, which is not what we were expecting anyways, right? We were just expecting a good character. It's just, what happens is again with this game as we time progresses like we're running out of things to use characters for it's just we only use one, characters for one thing which is solar raid right everything else gets cleared out by the, like the same meta pilgrims it's just this game doesn't revamp any pvp or sorry let's let's rephrase that this game doesn't add any new content where you're actually you know kind of picking up new characters for uh, so that's why it's like amelia do you need her theoretically in most content no if you're trying to play solar raid actively and actually be a part of it you need Amelia. That's the simple thing. It's the same thing that I stand by. Uh, this thing doesn't change much there. It's just it's, it's the truth, right? It's again, it's just like, is she the meta DPS? Not going to break the game, but she's still good to have its collection, right? The character doesn't return. Whatever, whatever. Water code DPS. Pretty good thing right there. And then again, for solar raid and whatnot, it's it's a pretty good thing. For a boss with additional targets, it's just a, it's a, random, a random pick, correct? It's like for team three, four, five, if you haven't already formed those teams and you don't have a DPS character, well, there you go, Ilya, you know what I mean? So it's like, I still stand by the point. I still say to summon, right? But players will always say like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. If you're playing for the solo raid aspect, you should you should pull a copy, but boss solo, that's where she ended up. It's low deficit, she still ends up in SS. Again, she ends up with A2. It looks like as high deficit kicks in, you drop these ones over here, but Amelia holds up to snuff apparently. So there is that. Um, boss over here, SS is what we're getting uh, with Amelia also, along with A2 and everything else. Uh, this one makes sense. I agree with this one. Um, I don't know if I agree with high deficit, though again, I haven't done the best testing, but um, I do know that A2 kind of clears, but she also whiffs because of the long charge up time. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll go with it. <laughs> I'll, I'll use their testing for this one. Um, so yeah, that's what they came up with. But again, SS over here, I, st I stand by it. You should always pull just because it's collection and it's limited. But again, I do see that players are either boycotting this collab or not pulling because they just don't care it, it both are fine it, literally it's definitely not a not an issue with anything so keep that in mind review time um excessive abnormal gear in stock for most uh players okay it's not really uh, okay it's pro i guess yeah i mean <laughs> standard pro fourth highest burst generation in pvp with potential to be first with heavy investments so a pvp thing most players won't give a damn but she is a very good pvp character scales really well with attack buffs so that's pretty good there Shots can be spammed like senti toward environmental uh, environmental destructibles for burst gen in campaign. Very good stuff there. Um, highly flexible for PvP. Can act as a burst gen battery um, or main burst 3 unit. So another PvP thing. 
Um, highest base AoE attack, nuke for PvP, so another PvP thing. Auto friendly, no need to manual her um, at all, unless you need to aim for a specific spot uh, for her to nuke or need extra burst gen, so that's good there. Has the highest range for RL, equal to A2, very good. Her AoE nuke can bypass Noah's uh, invincibility time frame, which I'm pretty sure is also PvP, so one, two, three for PvP. Or three for PP. So four points basically don't even count. <laughs> hey yo. But yeah, again, not saying that this is an issue. What I'm trying to say here is uh did I just say four? One, two, three, four. <laughs> then five. Yeah, sorry, my bad. But um yeah, it's it's not that it's an issue, it's just that if you really want PvP character, the one I'm trying to hammer home here is yeah, she's a PvP character. Get her PvP. She's gonna be very good. Though it says SS here, I've seen people say like she's triple S, so there is that. A uh, limited unit is a con, which is a good con. It's true. It's a limited unit. So dupes, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's not going to be there for the character. Can't, can't build her post this. So do what you want. Pull what you want. Get what you want. That's it. Uh, buffs reliant on full charge, which is a bit of a bit of a thing there. No innate attack buff. Her base attack ratio is 61%, which is the lowest in the RL category shared with Vesti and some other units. With no boss bars, Amelia can compete in damage. Uh, can't. Can't compete in damage against meta B3 against solo bosses. So this is, again, the main thing against bosses of such she's not a meta character correct but she's still good to have and for 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 uh, additional target bosses she's still good so remember that it's not that you're not getting the character what i still say is i stand by my theory and my my thought process right for solar raid it's water dps she's gonna be a boss killer her damage was pretty good right we read the kit off uh the off the start we're like oof you know what i mean oof it's just she wasn't oof she was yeah it's pretty good man but it's not like damn she broke the game holy crap it was good so remember that uh, four second uh, charge time on AoE attack can be uh, a liability in PvP defense teams and can be hard to execute in campaign. In PvP, her fully charged shots can count up to four to five uh, hits per shot if she hits two jackal linked Nikkei's, uh, which means she had, uh, can, what does it, be highly susceptible to dying against Scarlet Skill 2. Skill scaling per level is less than 1.69%. Uh, or times the default of most skills on average as water element if she gets hit by element oh well scarlet anise electric and pvp she can die very fast her burst nuke actually misses in pvp due to whiffing on the target yeah there's <laughs> so many pvp things in these things but remember this character is very heavy in pvp so that's kind of an investment point and solar raid so those are the two investment points uh, she does pretty good a uh, pretty good in story too so whatever it is it's just again there's a lot of b3s for story alice modernia noir am i in story no now I'm in the story. Same thing though. Alice, Modernia, Scarlet, Red Hood. There's a lot of characters for this already. So depends on if you want to like swap her on your team. But if you're missing like all the Pilgrims and Alice, well, I mean, there's an SS character. She'll be pretty good for you. Uh, she is burst three. A uh, burst three. I just butchered that. Burst three. That's great. That's wonderful. Well, check what JP said. I'm curious what they said, but let's hop over there. So here we go on the tier list. Where do they place my Amelia? Let's say they placed Amelia. Um. She's not here. She's not on A plus either. She's on here S plus. Amelia, Amelia, no Amelia. Did they put her on the wrong burst? She's not SS either, right? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just check what they ranked her. They ranked her S plus. So S plus is where they put her, down here. Yeah. So JP still says that Scarlet's above, uh, Sparkling Summer and Nisa's above, and all these characters are above. Prime says otherwise. S plus over here, they say that she lands right here, basically on par with A2 and 2B. Uh, nothing above them. So that's what JP says. If you want to believe what JP has to offer here, that's what they're saying. They're placing her right there. We have also like the in-depth review of the character, I think. So we can check where they place it in each one. Uh, so they say strongest rank is S plus, reroll rank is A plus. That's again separate. S plus is the boss battle ranking. Small fry battle, which I'm guessing is like story. That's S. And then again, arena is S plus. So kind of similar to Prywin, though Prywin is saying that in high deficit she does very good but that's what they're saying that's what their review comes to um and yeah that's what they're kind of going for i'm wondering what they're saying about rem so far because they always give like a pre-analysis a pre-game let's see what they're saying here they are saying ss in boss battle s plus in small fry and a plus in arena so they're expecting an ss character here which is basically on basically on par with all of our theories right everyone that can read that kid's like wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> they're kind of cooking man so we'll see how that turns out but uh they're they're giving a similar consensus it's the same consensus that i have i think we all have at this point she's a false character right um they say more so s here prime says s s for story height deficit uh but s plus there but it's 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 sort of similar right it's, it's basically in the realm of correct so 
there is that let me know what you think that's really it take care everyone have fun peace out that has been the amelia um cheerless ranking not half bad not half bad